GT Countdown. The Top 10 Necessary Remix. We always prize innovation and encourage developers to implement new ideas, keep their creativity moving forward, and look to the future. That said, remakes and re-releases practically dominate the downloadable market on the consoles. Publishers are looking into their musty vaults for diamonds hidden amongst the piles of shovelware. We're here to speed up their search with our list of 10 classics that are practically screaming for a second chance in the spotlight. We're not saying these games need sequels, they just need a new outfit to wear. Number 10. DuckTales Once upon a time in a land far, far away, Capcom's love affair with the West began with an anthropomorphic duck and one of the best NES platformers in system history. The much lauded but oft forgotten DuckTales is an old school side-scrolling gem that has definitely stood the test of time, but the series has nonetheless gotten surprisingly little love over the years. With games like HD Remix and Bionic Commando rearmed in the mix, it's no secret that Capcom's got a soft spot for rekindling the classics. Let's hope that this recent tango with Marvel can loosen the locks on Scrooge's money bin once again. Number 9. River Raid In hindsight, most Atari 2600 games are horrible. Very few have managed to stand the test of time, but one that has is River Raid. The amount of strategy and tension this game manages to squeeze out of a stick and a single button is a testament to its incredible level design and balance, two things that will always carry weight in the medium. It's truly timeless, and the only thing holding it back in today's market is a nice new coat of paint. We still remember trying to slide over and refuel in time to line up for the next overpass. White knuckles never go out of style. Number 8. Battletoads. While the prank calls have run their course, we won't rest until we see Rash, Zitz, and Pimple in high def. Rare's NES Classic lets players send enemies flying with a satisfying big bad boot and challenges them to maneuver insanely fast speeder bikes and survive deadly tunnels. Battletoads co-op play could easily benefit from updates to let all three players share the screen, party up online, or drop in and out as they please. And while Super Meat Boy proves that modern players can still stomach a challenge, adding a level select would surely ease the agony of defeat. Number 7. Police Knots. Point and click games aren't exactly in vogue these days, but what if we tell you that Hideo Kojima made one that felt a little bit like a sci-fi lethal weapon? Still not enough. What if we say it includes some first-person shooting that reminds us of the initial first-person demos for Metal Gear Solid 4? Now what if we really pile on and divulge that it has never been released outside of Japan? Toss in light gun support on the Wii or Move and suddenly the genre feels relevant again. Police Knots is a cult classic that few have played and we can't think of too many games that we'll be more excited to download if the dream becomes reality. Number 6. Strider. They said he'd never leave Eurasia alive, but Strider proved them wrong. Battling evil politicians, deadly robots, and the forces of gravity with superhuman agility, and the lightning-fast slashes of his plasma sword, Strider proves himself to be a futuristic ninja badass, further evidenced by his performance in the Marvel vs. Capcom series. It's hard to believe that the last time the guy actually had his own action game was a decade ago. If Bionic Commando can be rearmed, we'd like to see Strider reborn. Number 5. River City Ransom. This ode to high school fistfights and juvenile justice was way ahead of its time. Taking place in an interconnected environment, RCR lets you move freely from screen to screen, pounding the spare change out of gang members, seeking out powerful boss characters, and patronizing various shops to replenish hit points with delicious meals or buff up with RPG-style stat building. Other games have paid homage, but nobody's really been able to do it better. A return to River City is just what we need. Number 4. Resident Evil 2 Many fans consider Resident Evil 2 the best in the series, and they already got to revisit William Birkin's lab in Resident Evil Zero and Outbreak 2. Since the first PlayStation game was so lovingly retold in 2002, you'd think that a Part 2 remake is just an announcement away. 
Leon Kennedy's become quite the series superstar since his first appearance 13 years ago, and a GameCube remake stunned us when we saw how much detail could be added to the fixed camera formula. Thinking about that in the current generation makes us moan and claw at Capcom to get it done. Number 3. Silent Hill We admit the first Silent Hill has received prequels and reimaginings aplenty, but it's never been fixed up like the aforementioned Resident Evil port. We want to see the fog lifted and the monsters magnified. Throw in a new building, a new weapon or two, motion-captured cinemas, and a reorchestrated score, and you have a compelling argument for going back to that tortured town. Most games have made this list for originally having compelling gameplay or bold innovations, but Silent Hill still haunts us because it's just flat-out disturbing. Perhaps the series can learn something from returning to its twisted roots. Number 2. Final Fantasy VII Square Enix teased fans five years ago with the short video clip of Final Fantasy VII rendered on the PS3, but one of the most demanded remakes still remains as elusive as ever. Given the brand's drop-in popularity in recent years, it would only make sense to trade in the blocky models and pre-rendered backgrounds for some upgrades. However, the creators have publicly stated that remaking the game today will simply take too long, but after churning out several spin-off games and a feature film, we're not buying it. With so many memorable moments that can be improved through new tech, Square Enix would be silly not to. Number 1. Panzer Dragoon Saga Number one may not be as beloved as others on the list, but that's exactly the point. Most people have not even had a chance to play it the first time. Panzer Dragoon Saga was doomed by a late launch on dying hardware with a severely limited release. Saga was a Hail Mary pass that turned an action series into an RPG, painted with tremendous battles in the sky between magnificent beasts and an atmosphere draped in a distilled melancholy, but also a vague sense of hope. A balancing act like this between genres and moods is a rare occurrence. Even if you do drop the Benjamins to play this four-disc epic, the Saturn's stunted 3D capabilities make it hard to stomach. We can't think of any other game that would benefit more from a remake. Number 2. 